What's up guys? So today we're going to be pouring our first three concrete columns. Concrete truck should be here any minute. Just show you guys what we have going on with our forms. It's a three piece form. So this is a side wall. We got this front piece and then obviously the other side. These are bolted together in, in three spots and screwed. We got tap cons going into this wall. These block, this is a block wall that's filled. So it's, it's pretty strong. When we put these tap cons into here and into the footing, this didn't budge at all, but we still added these two kickers. I was thinking about adding a side kicker, but we don't think it needs it. I put this top brace on here to hold both sides together to kind of prevent them from blowing out. So it's not all on just the screws. This is my first time pouring columns like this. So naturally I'm a little nervous. I don't want any problems. Our mix is gonna be a 4,000 PSI. And I elect it to go with the small stone. So it'll, it'll get around this cage pretty good. And I'm gonna have fill up top of the wall with a piece of rebar jabbing down the sides as it's being poured. See, we were worried about, we had enough pitch with the chute, it'll flow. We're gonna find out here in a second, the moment of truth. What do you think, Phil, it's gonna flow? A little bit, I, that's why I grabbed the shovel so we can pull it out. Look at all that wood we stacked up down there. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Nice and slow. So if you saw me scrambling there, it's because these forms started bulging. We didn't have enough racing on it. The, the biggest culprit was this center guy. Let me get to the side here. You can see, you see it sticking out? 
this this bulged out about a good inch on all three sides we should have put cross bracing on them and then did something else here that's why we got these two by fours in here but fingers crossed knock on wood pray to god jesus mother mary all of them that these things hold <laughs> this one we braced up a little bit better and so far this guy's not bulging so it's been about an hour now and this one you could see with this side brace here there's a very slight bow maybe it's out an eighth of an inch uh, but these side braces is are a must uh, you know I know that now and I'm kicking myself because we bought more two by fours because we were going to put side kickers in and we didn't but you live and you learn thankfully it's been about an hour and these are still holding so I think maybe we're in the clear these will have a little bit of bulge on all three sides it's not going to affect it structurally it's just a cosmetic thing which shouldn't be that big of a deal all right it's been a few days about four days get ready to pull these forms and we'll see what these columns look like Well, all in all, it's not too bad. Got a little bit of honeycomb in here. Otherwise, it's pretty smooth. This side, since it started to bow out, the uh, cream of the concrete started making its way around my uh, little corner strip that we had in there. But I think I'll be able to clean that up with the uh, grinder wheel. A little bit of honeycomb in there. It's really, it's, it's not that big of a deal though. We know for the next ones, 
And standing back, it's it's pretty square. You see a little bulge in the middle there. Yeah, same on that side. The next three that we pour is gonna have a lot more reinforcement, so that doesn't happen. This one, like I mentioned, it stayed pretty square just by adding this. But my plan is, I think I'm gonna add another two by four here, and then this brace, and then probably two more of them. So it'll be braced in like three spots and another two by four in the center. But there we go, not too bad.